So how would you feel if we discovered life on Mars? I'd so be you, it sounds thing. like you would be less excited than some others um, because you're like, well. What I would be most interested in is how similar to life on Earth it would be. It would actually mm -hmm. turn into quite a subtle problem because the the likelihood of life having gone to and fro between between Mars and the Earth is oh, right. is, is quite, I wouldn't say high, but it's not low. It's, it's quite feasible. Uh, and so if we found life on Mars and it had very similar genetic code, but it was slightly different, most people would interpret that immediately as evidence that there'd been transit one way or the other and that it was a it was a common origin of life on Mars or on the Earth and it went one way or the other way. Yeah. The other way to see that question, though, would be to say, well, actually, the whole, the whole beginnings of life lie in deterministic chemistry and thermodynamics, starting with the most likely abundant materials, CO2 and water and, and, a, and a wet, rocky planet. And Mars was wet and rocky at the beginning. Uh, and will, I won't say inevitably, but potentially almost inevitably come up with a genetic code, which is not very far away from the genetic code that we already have. So we see subtle differences in the genetic code. What does it mean? It could be very difficult to interpret. Is it possible, do you think, to tell the difference of something that truly originated? Uh, I think if the stereochemistry was different, we have sugars, for example, that are the L form or the D form, and, and, and um, we have... Uh, D sugars and L amino acids right across all of life, but lipids. Uh, we have the bacteria have one one stereoisomer, and and the bacteria have the other, the opposite stereoisomer. So it's perfectly possible to use one or the other one, uh, and the same would almost certainly go for. And I think George Church in uh, has been trying to make life based on the opposite stereoisomer. Um, so it's perfectly possible to do, and it will work. Um, and if we were to find life on Mars that was using the opposite stereoisomer, that would be unequivocal evidence that uh, life had started in independently there. So hopefully the life we find will be on Titan and Europa or something like that, where it's less likely that we shared, and it's harsher conditions, so there's going to be weirder kind of life. I wouldn't count on that because Water. If life started in deep sea hydrothermal vents. It's a here, harsh. Condition. That's pretty harsh. Yeah. Uh, so Titan is different. Europa is probably quite similar to Earth in the yeah. sense that we're dealing with an ocean. It's an acidic ocean there, um, as the early Earth would have been. And it almost certainly has hydrothermal systems. Same with Enceladus. We can tell that from these plumes coming from the, the surface through the ice. We know there's a liquid ocean and we, we, we can tell roughly what the chemistry is. For Titan, we're dealing with liquid methane and things like that. So that would really, if there really is life there, it would really have to be very, very different to anything uh, that we know on Earth.